husband to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward until death do us part. Now you both have uh, have rings that you want to use as a symbolic confirmation of this promise to each other. And I believe, Mark, you have the ring, or you both have each other's rings, right? Mm -hmm. So Mark, if you will put Alicia's ring on her finger, and as you do that, repeat after me. Go ahead and put it on her finger, and you can hold her hand. And if you'll repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. The sign of my vow. And with all that I am. With all I am. And all that I have. And all I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. It fits. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. So now if you'll place Alicia Mark's ring on his finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. You know, God's Word says in 1 Corinthians 13, it says, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It's not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. By the authority vested in me as a representative of the state and a minister of the gospel, as Mark and Alicia have consented in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and us, witnesses, have pledged their faith to each other and have declared the same by joining hands, making vows, and by giving and receiving rings. By the power invested in me by God, it is my joy to pronounce you husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Mark and Alicia Cook. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Mark, you can kiss your wife. <laughs> I would like to just read a couple verses and pray over you this prayer of blessing. And uh, the verses come from Psalm 121. It says this, the psalmist asked the question, he says, where does my help come from? He goes, well, lift up my eyes to the hills, which is fitting that we're out here in the hills. And he says, ask the question, where does my help come from? And he answers it. He says, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will neither will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. And the Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. Let's pray. God, we pray this blessing on Mark and Alicia in their marriage. As they begin this journey down the road of life together, we don't know what lies ahead, but you do. We know there's going to be turns, there's going to be bumps, there's going to be great views as we're standing here, but there's going to be great views in their marriage along the way as well. May you help them, God, to make the most and the best of whatever comes. Help them, God, to enjoy each other as they did when they first met. Help them to realize that even in their failures to allow plenty of space an opportunity to exercise and experience forgiveness and grace that reflects you. God, help them to bring out the best in each other while deeply complimenting one another. May they lean into each other's strengths, learn from each other while respecting and valuing their differences of likes and of dislikes, opinions and wishes. Father, help Mark and Alicia to realize that no matter what happens, their anchor in life is you, that you truly are working all things out for their good, things that they would choose for themselves and things that they wouldn't. May your presence mark their lives, and may their lives be found, God, first of all in you. May the grace and mercy that they've experienced in you spill out in their marriage and into their lives and into the lives 
of all those around them that they touch along the way. So the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. Amen. Family and friends, it is with great privilege I give to you Mr. and Mrs. Mark and Alicia Cook. And I believe in a few minutes, there's going to be some pictures being taken, if I'm correct. So stick around for a little bit, and then you're going to be invited back to Gospel Lines Church for some food as we continue the celebration of their wedding. Anything else we need to know at this point? No, just stick around because we're going we're gonna to get a group picture up here. Okay. So stick up here. Okay. Is there anything I need to stick around for? Can I? Yeah.